Derbyshire closing on victory after Dahl Tun. Half tons from Wayne Madsen, Anna Dahl and Matty McKeon and rescued Derbyshire at New Road after another top order collapse and turned the tables on their hosts. The pair set for a difficult looking chase with the lead heading for 250. It wasn't long before they moved to 300, up to the mark when McKinnon calmly placed Pennington through the offside for four. The score was up to 306 when McKinnon aimed an ugly swipe at Pennington, the top edge soaring away to Baker, down at third man, out for 71. And Leach followed it up, short work made of Aitchison, out caught behind for five. Dahl was in fine touch, but also had a touch of fortune. The edge streaked away off Hasnain rather than going to hand, and the number seven had brought up his hundred. He'd lose another partner though, Sam Connors caught by Haynes off the bowling of Ed Barnard. And the innings was finished when Scrimshaw lifted a catch to captain Jake Libby off the bowling of Josh Baker. Derbyshire all out for 343, Worcestershire set a tricky 289 to win. The visitors were now favourites, the match turned on its head by Dahl who finished unbeaten on 112. The bowling hadn't been quite as potent when the sun came out, Leach and Pennington each with three. It was a rapid start from pairs openers Ed Pollock and Jake Libby. They added a quick 31 from the six overs they faced to take a big bite out of the deficit, and when they headed into tea, they needed 258 more. Ed Pollock would fall soon after the break, 37 on the board when he was caught at third slip by Cartwright off the bowling of Aitchison. Libby followed soon after, strangled down the leg side for another to Aitchison, and there was a third for Derbyshire to celebrate. Cornell out caught behind off Connors for four, the visitors really taking charge now, and they built on the breakthroughs. Ali bowled by Dahl for six, Worcestershire now 63 for four, and the game was virtually up when Barnard fell for seven, with his side still 217 away from victory. The rain was sweet relief for the hosts. Out of the firing line and into T early, the score 75 for 5. It took them a while to get back out there and dark clouds remained when they did resume after the break. And Haynes and Roderick got the recovery up and running, slow going for the moment. Bad light forced them off with the score 108 for 5 and they wouldn't return to the middle. The final session curtailed by the conditions that had been helping Derbyshire. The final day formula is simple, Worcestershire need 181 to win, their visitors require five more wickets, Derbyshire are the favourites now, and the hosts will need to produce something special if they're to avoid defeat.